What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Anger Point Tauros and Zoro team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channel. Yo, look at this team right here. This team was sent in by my boy, Matt. Matt, thank you so much for dropping this team. It looks amazing, and I am hyped to use it. Just look at it, guys. Just look at the Pokemon on it. It looks amazing. It has Frostlass from normal, well, normal Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's got some new Olive Armor Pokemon like Scizor, Tauros, Zoroark, and Dragalge. And then we got our boy, Duskops, with that Evo Light. It's going to be awesome, but Duskops starting off in the front spot. We got Trick Room. That's usually what it is. has the Alice Switch and Bulldoze. Normal little... Dust Cops right there. Normal Scissor as well. It's so good, but it's holding Light Bulb this time with Technician, Ability, Bullet Punch, X Scissor, Dual Wing Beat, and Protect. Scissor is so good, and you guys are going to see him a lot more on the rank ladder. We got Frostlass over here, who's going to pair so well with our Anger Point Tauros. Frostlass has Snow Cloak, Focus Sash, Ally Switch, which will be awesome. Frost Breath, which is a 100% crit move. I'll get to that, or get back to it in just a second. Protect and Icy Wind to slow down. Then, we got the Tauros over here with Anger Point. And if you guys do not know what Anger Point does, you guys are in for a ride. So, if Tauros gets hit by a critical hit, it will boost his attack to plus 6. Just maxing out his attack stat, he can basically just dominate everything. So, if we pair him with that Frost Slash, we can go into a Frost Breath over on the Tauros, trigger that Anger Point, and just dominate out. Tauros has Lash Out, Double Edge, Wild Chart, and Close Combat. A lot of coverage moves and one stab move. And it also has an Assault Vest, so it can eat up some special attack. And we got Zorok right here. Ooh! Ooh! Oh my god, yo. Zorok is a beast. He's an absolute beast. He has Illusion as its ability. And I haven't really tried it out too much. i only seen videos on it, but he's going to, like, take the form of the last Pokemon in your party. So I'm not 100% out of how it works, but we're going to be checking it out today. He has Nasty Pot to set up, Special Attack, Burning Jealousy, and Sludge Bomb for nice little coverage moves, and Night Days for Stab. He also has the Expert Belt to boost super effective damage. Then in the final spot is one of my favorite Pokemon. We got Dragalge, dude. Poison and Dragon typing, amazing typing with Dragon Pulse, Sludge Bomb, Hydro Pump, and Protect, and that Adaptability ability which makes stab moves do two times as much damage and that weakness policy in case we get hit by a super effective move we're going to boost out and roll out guys if you want to use this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen one last shout out to my boy matt for dropping this team like i said i'm hyped to use this team so let's hop onto that rank ladder and try to get some wins with this anger point toro squad so I've been playing a lot of Pokemon on this channel as of recently because it has been like the new game that has been coming out. But let me know in the comments section down below what games would you guys like to see me play. Whether it's a game that's about to come out or come out like rather within a year or something. Or a game that's already out. Let me know in the comment section down below what other games you would like to see me play. Because I would like to play all different Nintendo games. Like this channel is not just a Pokemon channel. It is a Nintendo channel. So I'm preparing to actually do Origami King on Paper Mario, so I'm hopefully, you guys are hyped for that, and then whatever comes out newer, but this has just been the most recent games, or stuff that has been coming out, it's just been Pokemon, so I've been grinding this and having a blast with it, but seriously, let me know in the comment section down below about that, but first battle here, we're going up against a Terrakion team, he has Incineroar with that fake out, all that good stuff, I really want to go into like Intimidate and all that, mm. I mean, actually, yo, let's do this, because he's part Ghost, not intimidate. I was thinking uh, Tauros near because if he fakes out, if he goes Incineroar, he can fake me out, but I will Dynamax and it won't really affect me, and he cannot hit my Frost Slash because he's Ghost typing. So we can do that, and then we can go into Scizor in the back. Hmm. Could go Zoro and have Scizor just rocking out in the back end. I kind of like that. I kind of like Scizor in the back end. Yeah, because that thing, that thing is Life Orb, and it has that first turn priority move. It's like, come on, yo, you gotta bring Scissor. You gotta be bringing Scissor up in here. But I feel like this team can go either way, because we have Trick Room with the Thusk Ops, and this team's kind of uh, rather fast. It's like kind of like medium speed, so you don't need to play Trick Room, unless they're like absolutely just running speed on you. But if you guys want to catch more content from me, do I mean do I even need to say anything? Link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. Hit that follow button, turn on those notifications, all that good stuff. But just the five Terrakion team, that's uh. That's pretty obvious. Justify Terrakion. And Terrakion's pretty fast. Let me check out the stats real quick. Let me, let me check out the stats real quick. Let's see what we got rolling here. Let's check out what we got. 178 speed. Not bad speed. Tauros is speedy. Oh my god, yo. We got the speedster, boys. And, bro, shiny scissor. This thing looks amazing. It looks amazing, bro. It looks awesome. Okay. So, I'm definitely going to go into a Frost Breath over on you. And this thing can go into a beat up and all that good stuff. And I'm just going to get after it. If I'm plus six, yo, we're going to be dumping on that thing. Do I go into that, or would I rather go into a stab move? But stab move 
move wouldn't really do too much, would it? Yeah, it's not very effective. So I'd rather go into a nice big max knuckle as we are going to be plus six because the frost ice does outspeed us. And we're gonna see a double dynamax. And we do outspeed unless he goes for a tailwind. Or is that him? Is that me or him? I'm a little confused. I think our characters look the exact same. <laughs> okay, it's us, so our Tauros is faster than that uh Tarakion unless he tailwinds. So that is actually good to know. So if he goes Dynamax in a beat up, we can outspeed and potentially just take it out one shot. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He's not going to Dynamax. He's just going to protect Terrakion, which is rather smart. And then probably Tailwind. Okay, you smart little cookie. You a smart little cookie. I'll give it to him. He's going to Tailwind first and then go for the beat up. But I don't know if he is going to go after it after this. Let's see what happens. Frost Breath comes in. It's a crit. Anger Point's coming out. Anger Point is coming out. We are maxing our attack set. And we're going to be able to roll out. Plus six on the board. How much damage are we going to do this in? How much damage are we going to do through to protect? Oh my lord. He is not going to Dynamax. He will kill itself. He will kill it. Oh my lord. We get a crit too. Bruh. Let's get it. Let's go. We're sitting good. We're sitting good now. We got attack boost for Frost Slash. We're chilling, buddy. Special attacking. We got Icy Wind. Uh, I think I'm just going for an Icy Wind here. No way he goes for a beat up now. I don't know how he's going to do this. We definitely go for an Icy Wind, knock off the Sash, take out Terrakion, and then just max strike out. Yeah, that's good. That is fine by me, yo. Anger Point Tauros coming up big, baby. This thing has Charm. That's totally fine as well because we're plus six, dude. Moonblast comes out. That's a tasty snack you got there. We have a Soul Fest as well. He's going to go for a close combat, which uh going to do some damage to us and take us out. Ooh, that's a little rough. That's a little rough. That's a little rough, man. He really dumped on us in one shot. E. I thought we were just going to be able to absolutely run out. But yeah, we showed off the power of that thing so far. Which is awesome. He's going to take himself out from life or damage. Which is totally fine. I'm going to bring out a Scizor? Or no, I'm going to bring out a Zoruk. Get that illusion rolling. Icy Wind's going to take off that thing. Sash and slow it down a little bit. Oh, that's a nice damage. Another Icy Wind will take that thing out. Let's get it, baby. Speed's dropping. And get out my boy Zoruk. Oh, we're going to throw him a curveball. We're going to do a little bit of a little bit of an illusion. So he should come out here looking like Scizor, right? Am I correct? Am I correct? I'm gonna send out Togekiss. Come out here looking like Scissor. Yeah, go Scissor, yo. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. He has no idea. He has no idea. Hmm, I'm just gonna go for a Frost Breath. Do I take out Wimscott? If you go for Follow Me, that's totally fine. Now I got all these moves. I got all these moves, baby. Do I set up a plot? How should I roll out? I think he's gonna Dynamax Togekiss. No lie. And just go for an airstream. I think that's exactly what's gonna happen. I think he dynamaxes here and he rolls out. Is that the plan? What are you doing, sir? He does not. Moonblast comes through. Over on Frost Slash. Frost Slash should be chilling. Yep, Frost Slash eats up. He gets a crit, yo. What do you mean? What do you mean you get a crit? This thing's going to yawn over on my Zoroak, which, well, Scizor. Totally fine. It's probably gonna be like, what the heck happened here? This thing's gonna go down. Boop. And we just gotta waste out this trick room here. We just gotta waste out trick room here. I'm getting real sick of trick room. I do have bullet punch and all that. And I don't think he's ready for this. I do not think he's ready for his sludge bomb to come through. Sludge bomb. He's probably like, what the heck's going on? This thing's learning sludge bomb. And we're doing some nice big old damage. We got a crit too. What is up with all these crits? And we get a poison. Dude, this game is so lucky for both sides of the field. Crits and just everything's happening. Poison's going to take it out. Oh my god, that was huge. That was huge. He's probably so confused. Like, what is going on? Yo, that's our boy Zoro coming in with Illusion. Throwing them off. And then we're going to throw out another Scissor in the back in a little bit. And now it comes down to Venusaur. I think Tailwind should be ending soon. So he's actually sitting in a tough spot. Because we're going to go Frost Breath. This thing's guaranteed crit. And then I'm just going to go into a Burning Jealousy. This thing's going to go to sleep after this. So I'm just going to do it anyway. Try to get some damage off on it. And then, like I said, I have Scissor in the back. Sleep Powder's going to come out here on Frost Last. That's smart. And then Zoro is going to go to sleep. So double sleep, he's going, and he's probably going to Dynamax after this. Give it to him. Give him that burn jealousy. Yes, sir. Dude, he's probably like, what is going on here? <laughs> nice big old damage up against that Venusaur. And now we are both asleep. All right. Tailwind is gone, so I think uh, what's called outspeed. Frost Slash should outspeed now. Let's go there, and then let's go for another burning jealousy. I got to play this one slow. I just got to play this one slow. I can one shot and finish off this game. Like, next hit. I just got to make sure to get off a hit. Bro, Zoro clutching up. I think I think that threw him off so bad. He has no idea. Yo, he got lucky he won't have my, uh, my, uh, Taurus. 
with that big stab close combat. That was big for him. That was actually big for him. But you guys got the gist. This thing can absolutely mark the Tauros. You give that anger point, it's gone. It's rolling after that. He's going to Dynamax now. Get some, a lot more HP. Well, double up his HP. But maybe he might be able to survive a shot. Let's see what happens here. Somebody wake up. <gasps> Bro, yo, what's going on? He's probably so mad. He's probably so mad. Frostlash just woke up. <laughs> he had a one-turn sleep. My boy, take quick naps. He's taking quick naps. He's going to come out. Go after my uh, Zoro. Max Quake comes out. It's actually game. That's 100% game. You can take out Zoro. So he takes out my Zoro, and I'm going to bring out Scizor. This thing could be life over. And he gets a crit, dude. Like, seriously, what is going on right now? What is going on? I seriously have no idea what is going on here. Like, are you seeing all the crits and everything? This is just nuts. This is just nuts. We're going to bring out Scissor finally now. And we can go bull punch for first turn priority and win this game. Like, somebody let me know. How many crits was that? Like, how much luck was that? I think we might have saw five crits and we got that lucky poison too. Just nuts. We outspeed this game. Let's go for an icy win. Have fun with it and bullet punch for the win. Let's go 1 and 0 with this team, dude. We got to show off Azura. We got to show off Anger Point Toros. And. Bruh. Bruh. What are you doing? What are you doing? That doesn't help you. That doesn't help you. Unless you're trying to go for like a double max guard and then go for like a double hit. I don't know what you're trying to do here. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. He's going for the super luck here. Yeah, he went for the other max guard. He was trying. He had, he had something up his sleeve. He had something up his sleeve. But, yo, GG. We get that win. We go 1-0. and oh. This team's rocking out so far. Let's get it. We're going to hop into our second battle. Try to start a win streak with this team. And potentially try to show off uh, Anger Point Taurus one more time. Going up against a normal, typical Trick Room team that we would probably see before the Isle of Armor. Like, what is this? There's no new Pokemon. This is just normal stuff. This guy's trying to push the ladder. Oh my god, I, I don't like to see that. I like to see new Pokemon people having fun, but it's all good. It's all good. So, I can bring my slower Pokemon like Dragalge thrives in the Trick Room. So, I might actually lead Dragalge. I might lead Dragalge, but I think he might lead Halucha and the, uh, the Ndidi. So, I could go that and into Icy Winds, all that good stuff. And I actually might go Scizor. I go Scizor? And then I'm going to go Dragalge. And then I believe we're going to go uh, Zoroark in the back end. Zoroark. What happens if you put Zoroark in the back end? Did I muff it up? Should I have swapped Zoroark and a Scissor? Or is it just a Pokemon in the back of the party? I don't know. If you put Zoroark in the back end, does he not illusion? Does he, his ability not come out? But it's all good. It's all good. We're going to get rolling out here. I think he's going to either go Trick Room or he's going to go Halucha and uh, Indeedy, which is totally fine. They're both fine. Let's see who he goes. That's Cops and Didi. Okay, so he's going to try to set off a Trick Room right off the bat, which I'm, like I said, I'm totally fine with. Frost Slice and Scissor are going to come out here in the front spots. And I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Eventually, he's probably going to take us out, and then I can just uh, get my Dragalge up in here and roll out from there. Because Dragalge is going to be my mind. The boy who actually uh, comes out here and clutches it out for us. So let's get it. He's going to frisk us, see our items. We got Life Orb, all that good stuff. So I'm definitely going to double up. He's going to go into a follow me, but... Hmm. Got Icy Wind, but Icy Wind won't really do much. I'm just going to double up on that side. We got X-Scissor, which is coming across. Which is coming across over on that NDD side. Follow me, obviously. I saw that coming all day. All day. We already know exactly what he's doing. He's trying to go for the follow me. Set up Trick Room. Frost Breath going to come out here. And... Pfft, bro, what you mean? What you mean you avoid the attack? X-Scissor comes out here. Oh, is this thing sashed? This thing's sashed, yo. Come on. I wish we would have hit our Frost Breath. That would have been beautiful. That would have been lovely. We would have been chilling. Trick Room's coming out here. That's totally fine. Um, but leave Ndidi alone here. Nah, we fine. We're just gonna go for an icy win. It was just slow him down, actually. But I'd rather go for like a frost breath. I think I'm gonna keep Ndidi alive and try to get some of these trick room turns down and go for a uh, dual wing beat. And we're on to dust cops. Let's go for another follow me. He's not gonna go for follow me. I'm totally cool with it. I'm totally fine with it. He goes for a nice shade. I think we get our dual wing beat off. Yeah, yo, double up on this boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice little double hit on him. And Frost Breath is going to come out after this. Psychic's popping over on Frost Last. Frost Last, eat that up, buddy. All day, Frost Last. All day. Frost Breath coming out here. Boop. Get it. That's a crit. <laughs> That's a crit, dude. Dust Cops is such a beast, dude. He eats up too good. All right. Now we are definitely going to go into... Do I protect here? Like I said, I'm just trying to waste out turns here. So I am going to protect him. 
I'm gonna go into another dual wing beat. Like I said, like I just want to waste out these trickering turns, just enough so my what's called can come out here and do some work. Look at this, we're gonna be able to eat this up. I think my plan's gonna work out just perfect. Another dual wing beat. Awesome. My what's called should be able to take that out. My frost slash should be able to take that out. This second should be going to my frost slash. Bang. So I can go for a uh, a what's called now. How many turns are left in Trick Room? There, after this, there will be one. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. If I can go for a Frost Breath, take you out, and go for a Bullet Punch. We might not even uh, Dynamax your Galgy. He's going to Ally Switch. Oh, uh, this is totally fine. He actually might pick up a KO now with it. Let's see what happens. Bullet Punch comes out. Oh my god, I totally forgot about the terrain. We totally muffed it up. We muffed it up, people. Actually, that works better if he takes out Frost Slice. Now I get the Dynamax my Dragalgy, and I can start rolling out with that. I totally forgot about that terrain. Muffed up my whole thing. Muffed up everything. So I guess Zoro Illusion will not happen now, considering we have no Pokemon in the back end. But I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Let's Dynamax Dragalgy. I think we gotta start boosting our attack here. Go here. And then just go for uh, a dual wing beat and take out Klopsky. Take out the Klopsky Klops. Let's get it. Start boosting that. Start boosting that. I think he's uh, trying to survive and get off another trick room here, which I cannot allow it. I cannot allow it this at this point right now. Let's get it, Dragalgy. Let's get it, baby. Dude, he's so slow. He, he's such a good trick room. Model, and he's such a cool looking Pokemon, too. Legit like a seaweed seahorse. Just looking all cool. He's going to go for a Nightshade. Take out my skizzies. My skizzy boy. Those skizzies go down. Trick Room's done after this, so Zorak is going to come out here and be able to outspeed probably everybody out there. Maxu's coming out. We're going to start getting a special attack boost. Boop. I wish Zorak was here to get the special attack boost as well. That would have been huge for us. And we get that boosty. We boosty now. And indeed he drops. We looking good. We looking good. No more Trick Room. I think we played that one very, very well considering how slow Pokemon he does have. And then we bring out the boy. Does he illusion? I don't think he illusions now. There's no other Pokemon. Oh, I thought I said I sent out right here. I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> nope, no illusion comes out because we have nothing. So Rogue popping out here with this cool looking dude. He looks so sick. I could geyser. I could warm one. Yeah, I am gonna geyser. I'm plus one. I'm gonna go there, and then I think I just go for a night days. Take out you. If you ally switch, that's totally fine. You're gonna does he have ally switch? It's obviously Dynamax in here. Go ahead, do your worst, sir. Do your worst. I mean, what's called is scary. A max quake into my Dragalgy, which I do not think we're eating up. That is scary. That is scary. That's why we do a bulldoze with this, uh, with the, our Dust Cops. We can trigger our own uh, weakness policy. Goroko's gonna go first. Who's faster? My Pier or Dragalgy? That's my question. That is my question. Who is faster? Got Dragalgy. Yes, okay. Dragalgy outspeeds. I don't know if Max Kaiser's gonna kill. Plus one, no stab. Let's get it, Dragalgy. Oh my god, I love you! I love you, Dragalgy! Get it, baby! Let's go! Big KO there. We're gonna pick up a win in battle number two. And I believe if we win this one, I uh, get to Master Ball tier, so... Woo! Let's go! Another season, another Master Ball tier. Let's get it. Big plays coming up by Dragalgy. I think we clutch that up by uh, slowing the game pace down and waiting for that trick room to end. I really think that was a great call by me. And that ended up winning us the match because I didn't want to give his uh, Rhyperior just like full advantage in Trick Room because you guys already know they can run every like every single match in a Trick Room. And it's just, they're just so strong. But the best part is they, they have poo poo special defense. And we just roll out after that. Oh, this is game, dude. This game. Go ahead. Set the drought, baby. Set the drought. I don't care. I do not care. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you now. Uh, I'm just going to go for a worm one here. Because I don't feel like changing up the weather. And I'll just go for a Night Days as we got that stab damage coming out here from Zoroak. And I think he just canceled battle, right? Does not. Zoroak's going to get that Night Days off. Yeet! Get him, baby! Nice damage, baby. Nice damage. One win coming out. And this should actually pick up the KO and say GG, yo. Let's get it. 2-0 with the squad, yo. Dragalgy's rocking out. We got Zoroak. He's rocking out. I really do like the Frost Ice as well. I feel like Frost Ice is a great lead. And he, uh, he plays a well support role.
So we just got Mesh Bolt here sitting at rank 9,206, which isn't too bad. We got to bring that one up. We got to bring it up. But going into our third and final battle, another Trick Room team with Porygon 2. Porygon 2 rocks out. And Hatterene can actually play Trick Room Roll. Got to watch out for that Belly Drum uh, Azumarill. Everyone knows that thing's an absolute beast with huge power as a disability. Uh, do I go Anchor Point? Do I go Anchor Point? I got to bring my slower mods for sure. So, like, I might actually uh, have to Dynamax Trick Algae here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do I want to do? I kind of want to go Frost Slash into Tauros and bring Scizor and Dragalge. I think that's the play. Because Dragalge really thrives under here. Like, if he's going to set Trick Room, that's totally fine. If he's not going to set Trick Room, I have my Frost Slash and my Tauros to actually roll out. But you guys already know the deal. Can he do it? Can Jeans do it for the online gaming community? Can he go 3-0 in this battle, or not battle, in this video? I hope so. We're rocking out with this team. I really love this team, dude. Matt made this so nice, dude. There's something about it. This guy has all these cool Pokemon. Zoro, Tauros, Frostlass. Frostlass is cool, even though he was in uh, the original game without the DLC. He's just such a cool Pokemon. Scizor, everyone loves Scizor. And dude, Dragalge, bro. Dragalge, bro. So good. And this is my first time using Zoro. He's so good. Well, for online battles. I've been looking for a team, and this one just fits perfectly. Like, Illusion's so cool. Especially, we got to show it off perfectly in... What was that? Is that the first battle? Yeah, it was the first battle when he disguised himself as Scissors, and he was just throwing off the opponents left and right. Are we going up against Jacob? What you want, Jacob? You don't want the smoke, kid? You don't want it. Who are you going to go into? Indeedee and Hatterman. Okay, so he definitely is setting Trick Room here. Do I Anger Point it still? Like, I kind of want to. I kind of want to just Dynamax and Anger Point. Though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Without Dynamaxing, we could do that. Psychic Seeds are popping. Gonna get a nice little special defense boost. Good thing we're hitting physical. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this without uh, Dynamax or anything. We're gonna go for a Lash Out over on you. Cause you gotta go for Follow Me, right? 100% gotta go for Follow Me. I'm gonna Lash Out. I'm gonna get anger pointed up and we're gonna take out this indeed, no problem. And then I feel like I can go for an ally switch and get another mon and then bring out my Jagalji and Dynamax him and potentially roll out the match after that. Like as much as I wanted to do that, follow me comes out. And I just realized I muffed up because follow me, the frost breath is gonna come across. Which is totally fine. I don't I don't mind anymore. I don't mind anymore. We're still fine. We're gonna get crit. Oh, we're not gonna be able to take out this NDD from here. But he is going to get off a trick room. Let's see what happens here. Yeet. Get him. Get him. Take him out. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I think too much in my head before actually, like, uh, making the play. And then when something happens, like, well, I didn't account for that. What am I doing? I, I thought too quick. <laughs> hmm. I could protect. And then just take out the NDD. I'm going to protect here. And lash out once again. Bam, 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 Okay. Hopefully the... I think Hatterene might Dynamax, actually. Or he might save it. Maybe just go for, like, a Dazzling Gleam or something. Because he does have uh, Delmize, who is really good. Who is really good, especially in Trick Rooms. What is up with all these Trick Room teams we're seeing? What is up with that? It's uh, just Trick Room is still, like, so big. But I feel like there's so many more ways to, like, counter it now. But I think uh, everything's been good. Everything's been good. I feel like the new Isle of Armor Pokemon definitely brought in a whole new wave of, uh, I guess... I don't even know what the word is. But just like a whole new, like, it just made the online competitive scene a lot better, in my opinion. It really did, because we got new Pokemon, new abilities, and a whole new way of playing it. And it's just been awesome. But he is going to Dynamax Hatterene here, and he's probably going to go for a G-Max Smite. Confuse all my Pokemon for no reason. Just leave him alone. Please, leave him alone. We're protecting. Hopefully, he's going after my Frost Slash with that Smite. It'll be type nice, and he's going to go for a Smite. Come on. On my Frost Slash. Nope, over on my Tauros. Tauros does eat up, but Confusion is going to come out here. Does Frost Slice still get confused? Yeah, he does. I was going to say, the Protect should cancel out that confusion. And we got the Duckies. We got Spinning Duckies going on. Expanding Force. Oh, no. Oh, no. That move is a beast. Tauros is definitely going to go down here. And then I'm going to go into Dynamax Dragalge. It's Dragalge. Actually, this is tough, man. This is really tough. I mean, I can, I'm going to ally switch and uh, try to dump on that uh, Hatterene with a G-Max Ruse. Uh, Oh, Maximus. Because he's going to come after me with a smite. That's an obvious play. So I'm going to go ally switch. Switch it up, baby. 
and we come in after you with that ooze. We come in after you with that max ooze. And it's adaptability, so double stab damage, super effective. Come on. What you want, fool? Because I believe Hatterene is slower than Dragalge. And is he going to go for a follow me? That would be the play. That would be the play, but I don't know if he's going to do it. I think he thinks that just Hatterene's just going to dump on Dragalge. Come on, baby. What you want? Hatterene coming up. Hatterene coming up. <laughs> See what happens here. Ducks, of course, watch. We're gonna hit ourselves. No ally switch. Bro. What you mean? What do you mean? This game trash! Oh my lord. He's gonna expand for force. So Dragalji's gonna go down here. As long as we can take out this Hatterene, we have a shot here. Bro, dude, my ally switch. The dang confusion. Can we take it out? Yeah, we do, dude. Oh, we do not. We do not. Look at that. It went down so fast, I thought we were taking him out. It was like, you know, puts him down on, like, one. We got a special attack boost, and indeed, he's going to drop an expanding force, obviously. Take out Dragalge. And Frost Lance down to 18. Man, he gets a crit on my Frost Lance as well. Get out my face. Get out my face, yo. Frost Lance just taking a beating right now. Gets a crit on expanding force. Hits himself in confusion. Oh, dude, we would have been chilling if that ally switch would have would have went off. Oh, can I go into a... uh? Cannot go into a what's it called? A bullet punch because of the psychic turn. Whack, that's whack. Guess I'll go for an icy wind. And then go into Indeedy with the Xkizies. With the Xkizies. But Frostlight is gonna be the fastest. Flare's gonna come out here. Take out scissors. Okay, that's a game. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. GG man, GG. Oh my god. If that ooze would have took out or the ally switch would have just came off, we probably would have been sitting pretty. We probably would have been sitting pretty, but yo, GG, this guy, we go two and one with this team in this video. I had a blast with this team, though. I really think I'm going to be using it again when I stream and all that, just having fun with it, because it actually is a very, very strong team, and it uh, it works pretty well with me on the rank ladder, so really did enjoy it. I loved every single Pokemon on it, and we rocked out. One last shout out to my boy Matt for sending in this team. The best way to do it if you guys want to send me teams would be DMing me over on my Instagram page. That makes it so much easier for me. You can also comment in the YouTube comment section, but... Like I said, I get a lot of uh, comments, so sometimes I miss it or sometimes I don't really see it. So, best way to do it would be Instagram. If you do not have an Instagram, test your luck over in the comment section. I try to uh, read all the comments. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.